your GMC. Let me tell you about me. My name is Rhonda. All right, so if backyard composting is not your thing, or you don't want to compost your meat, bones, and dairy, you can always save them up and bring them here to Green Mountain Compost, where they'll get be made into beautiful compost by the same FBI agents that did your backyard, except they'll do it just to touch back. All right, so, again, collected food scraps in my reused container. Come to Green Mountain Compost, with the food waste drop off. This is a fantastic dumpster. It's as hard as this. Well done. I'm out of here. Now, Miss Charlotte over here. Say hi, Charlotte, to the people. Yeah. So, Miss Charlotte is actually pulling out a bunch of uh, non compostable stuff. So, be sure if you are collecting your food scraps for drop off in plastic bags, dump them out of the plastic bags and take them back with you. Uh, Everybody makes mistakes and we learn as we go along. So, Thank you, Ms. Charlotte, for all your hard work for being out here. You're we appreciate welcome. it. Hi, I'm Elise Serta. I'm Marketing and Communications Manager for Chittenden Solid Waste District. And I wanted to show you how I handle food scraps at home. So basically, my method is I collect my food scraps while I'm cooking, and I actually put them out in a bin outside for my hauler to pick up. So just to show you basically what I'm doing, I have some bananas that have gone bad here. So you can kind of see that they're all speckled and uh, kind of mushy. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna freeze them and then put them into smoothies that I eat. So, as you can see, I just take a piece of food, take off the peel. And this would be the same if I were making a soup and cutting up vegetables, any vegetables that I wouldn't be using or throwing into a stock, I would actually do this too. So once I have my scraps, all together. I have this, actually I think it's really cute. <laughs> this is a food scrap bin that I just bought online and as you can see it has a carbon filter which is kind of cool to help keep the smells down. I have it lined with a compostable bag so you have to make sure that these are certified to be composted and as you can see in there I already have part of a sandwich that didn't get eaten, a moldy banana, and some coffee grounds. So this goes just right in there and I put the cap on. I then wash my hands or I wipe them off because they're sticky. But after that, it's really simple. When this is filled or when I think it's a little, maybe a little smelly and I want it to go outside, I just pull my bag out and now I'm gonna take it outside. So here we are. This is the end of the line for my food scraps. I have a bigger bucket outside. I just throw it in. And by the time my hauler ends up picking up once a week, this thing will be filled. And as you can see, I just tightened down my container and it stays outside. And animals haven't gotten into it. It's pretty secure and even sometimes the pain get off. But as you can see, it says compost, compostables, food scraps. I sit it on top of my bin, bring it out to the curb, and my hauler comes and picks it up. And then the scraps are actually brought to Green Mountain Compost ultimately and then it gets made into cool compost for Vermonters. So thanks for letting me show you what I do.